On your side, some people living in Northwest Omaha say the traffic around the intersection mm. is bad, so bad, Dave, that a lot of times vehicles are at a standstill it's there. It's a headache, no doubt. Six News has Joe Harris looked into it and tells us if any solution is in sight. In the shadows of Omaha Westview High School at 56th and Ida, it's bumper to bumper traffic during the early morning rush. A lot of times I'm getting right onto Ida just to get to a standstill. And she says 156th is no better. Even though I work um, like near 84th and Dodge, I have to leave like 40 over 45 minutes early to get there to work. People say it's been like this for more than a year. Five, 10 minutes is sitting at the corner waiting for traffic. They say because vehicles get so backed up, if you're trying to turn left onto either 156th or Ida, from a side street, good luck. Some drivers have given up on that and instead go through residential roads. I'd have to drive through the neighborhood, get out on 144th Street, and then I can just head straight south um, through the light as opposed to trying to get into this traffic on Ida, which is horrendous. So how long will it be like this? And when will they widen this section of 156th Street to two lanes in each direction? The Douglas County Engineer's Office says that could be quite a few years from now because it has several other projects that are priority. One of those is a $4 million intersection improvement effort on 168th and State. There are multiple fatalities out there. It was called the State Street Jump, and uh, young drivers would go out there and test their skills, and some of them didn't make it. Dan Kutilek says that one will go into next year, but that when it's finished, it should relieve the volume of traffic in the 156th and Ida area. Other major projects over the next few years in this part of the county include improvements at 168th and Ida and 156th and State. Cutilex says a lot of what's on his office's plate is development driven. And like with a lot of things, funds influence when they work on roads. It's a struggle to come up with enough money to keep up with the traffic. <clears throat> we have a, you know, a plan, a six year plan that we uh, put together to try to anticipate some of these things, but it's financial issues that usually control the timing of it. He doesn't have an estimate on how much widening the stretch of 156th Street would cost, but that it will be several years before it happens, unless some federal funds come in. On your side, Joe Harris, 6 News. Joe, thank you. The Douglas County Engineer's Office says the county is scheduled to do a traffic study at the intersection of 156th and Ida starting next week. That will help them decide whether or not to make some traffic signal modifications to hopefully help move more cars through that intersection.